My name is Amparo Vale. Willing to take a DNA. I was adopted years 1974. She thinks your mom is still alive. And I am looking for my biological mother. Excited to meet my for another soldier. They don't want to tell me anything. I've been on the phone. Name Nina Ruby. Hello. To have that connection where I belong. She's looking for you. And please help me, guys. Thank you. This is the story of Amparo reuniting with her mother 49 years after she was forced to give her up. Amparo reached out to the Lear and Blair Slog to ask for our help in locating her long-lost biological mother. Amparo is a 49-year-old widow running a diving business on the exotic island of Malapascua in the Philippines. As we head to the island, Amparo goes into more detail about how she has been looking for her long-lost mum. She don't want to tell me anything at all. She would start crying and then she would only tell me, can you just keep quiet and see how I take care of you? Just like my own daughter. So don't ask anything else about what these people are gossiping about because they don't even want to tell me that I was adopted. This kind soul had insisted that we bring our three young boys with us to hear her story so they could enjoy their time on Malapascua Island. Malapascua Island, it's a very small island. I got the impression that Amparo was a very strong, self-determined lady who set out to find her long lost mother. She just needed a little bit of help. Amazingly, the next five days are going to completely change her life. We're going to stay here for a couple of days. We're going to do some interviews with Mam Amparo, uh, find out about her background story. She's looking for her mum, her birth mother. She was adopted uh, from a very, very young age. She doesn't know her mother at all or her father. And uh, the Lear and Blair slog are setting out to try and find her mum. I'm sorry, but that's all I can tell you right now. You'll just have to keep watching to find out what happens. As we headed to her residence, we passed Dan's dive, Mam Amparo's dive shop. After an all-day journey to the island, the next day we would be hearing Amparo's full story. I'm with Bia. Bia, do you like living in Malapaswa? Yeah, very much. Very peaceful around here. And you go to school on the island? Yeah. Bia, Amparo's daughter, she's 14. She's going to be looking after the boys today for us as we interview Amparo and find out her story about looking for her long lost mother. Amazing views, but an upcoming heart-wrenching story. Can you just give us a quick background as to how you ended up in Malapascua? Okay, me and my husband came here just to go swimming with uh, our son Ethan Vincent back in 2004 and my husband Daniel Vale fell in love with the place and decided to stay and uh, make a, uh, do a dive shop here. From then, we are still here, uh, having our dive shop here. You were telling me that uh, you wanted to try and find your birth mother when your husband was alive. Yes, that Take is true. Take me through why that didn't happen. My mom, she keep on crying every time we ask her. Uh, about this uh, topic and uh, she even told told me uh, or us that it could it would be okay if I don't bring we don't bring again the, this issue until they are gone in this world. Do you think that your mother is still alive? In your heart, do you feel your mother is still alive? Positively. Yeah, you do? Yes, I feel it. How old is would she be now? around 76 or so after 49 years being a mom a successful businesswoman here in malapascua why you are still looking for your biological mother okay this is hard now i am 49 years old and i'm still hoping that i can I can find them, some, any of them, knowing that you don't have any family. Okay, I was blessed to have these adopted parents who really loves me. 
so much that I could never ask for more. I was scared beyond what anyone else can can give, can have. They raised me like their own blood, but still knowing that you are just an adopted, for somehow you want to reconnect or you want to see them and you want to see how, what's your, uh, where you belong, wh where you come from. And for me to be on this, uh, on, on this stage now that like what she says on her letter that I am giving you away may God bless uh, may God provide the good future for you because I cannot afford to raise you Nida Ruby is the real name maybe she has given even a fake name for some reason, I don't know why, but I, I, you know, I was hoping it's not, because that's what makes me hurt more. For me, this is something that I want her to know and thank her mostly for bringing me up in this world and have that heart to think of me, to have a better future being with her. And I just want her to know that this is me now. I was so blessed because of your prayers to have a good life and I had it. So if you're out there, I want to reach out again and reconnect with you to share my blessings. My name is Amparo Vale. I was adopted years 1974 July 21 and I am looking for my biological mother named Nida Ruby which she can be found in Limon Barangay Butuan City or somewhere Samora Street Butuan City and this is based on the, uh, the affidavit of consent that she have signed during my adoption and uh, I hope uh, anyone can help us locate her and give us some more information so we, I can get some uh, closure to my mom, my, my biological mom. But for me to know this, if she or my adopted parents was advise her to do this, that is not the matter now, the ma uh, what most important now is if you're still out there or any of the family member that knows this uh, biological uh, family of mine please reach out because I am not here to make any scene only to feel like what human being does to have that connection where I belong or where I came from. All too soon it was time to leave Malapasqua and find her long-lost mother, Nida Ruby. We have begun our journey by uploading Amparo's video to our Facebook page. What we didn't realize was that somebody was going to watch it and tell us that maybe she had a long-lost sister. I can't believe it, guys. We just left Malapasqua and heading back to Sibunga. Now we got some news that it might be Ati Amparo's sister. We've only been in the van a couple of hours. We're on our way back to our house and the messages are coming in from the post that we put up on our Facebook page, the Deering Blair Slog. And someone has said, try this person. So we looked her up and she is the spitting image of Mam Amparo. It's like a twin. It's like a twin. When they're, I'm gonna put the picture up now. Look at this. We're in a van traveling across the mountains through the middle of Cebu, so the signal's in and out. We're trying to call Mam Amparo to tell her. Everything leads back that this is her half-sister, a different father, but the same mother. Uh, some cousins have been contacting us from this girl, from this woman's um, side, saying we know who this is, and it looks like she's the half-sister of Mam Amparo. As Leah May was checking this woman's Facebook page, it was uncanny the similarity between her and Amparo. Within the space of 24 hours of putting her video up on our Facebook page, 
It got shared more than a thousand times. It's currently sitting at nearly 50,000 views overnight. And this is the power of social media. You know I always say that because somebody somewhere knows something and the jigsaw and the puzzle starts coming together. So take a look at this. Who she looks like? Uh, okay, looks the daughter. Like. Exactly. Exactly. Bia. Exactly. I'm so, so excited. So you, you, you don't know how I feel right now. Unfortunately for us, as we crossed over the beautiful mountain range that divides North and South Cebu, we had no phone signal. So now we're on the highway, we've got signal, we've just come down from Barili. There's nothing more frustrating than you're so close in reuniting people, don't even know each other exists, and there's no bloody signal up in the mountains. It's like you're pulling your hair out. Leah May still working the phones, we have yet to speak to Violetta, but um, we've got her daughter now on Messenger, and Leah May's talking to the daughter, so this job, you can't explain it. It's, uh, it's like a roller coaster of information. One minute you've hit a dead end, the next minute somebody pops up on Messenger saying, um, you added me as a friend, who are you? Is this a scam? I'm messaging different people, friends related to Violeta, but they said they don't have number with her. So this is how it go, guys. Like, it's not easy. You're so close. But I'm so close. I, I'm, I'm so, so close now. So I'm just gonna continue. And hopefully I can get hold with Violeta, which is probably at the Amparo's sister, half sister. It's surreal, this journey. I'm trying to get hold of Ma'am Amparo. I think she's out on the dive boat. It's like, hoi! <laughs> <laughs> Keep your phone beside you, even if you're underwater, answer it. <laughs> no excuses. I'm trying to reunite you <laughs> with your long lost mother. I don't know if she's still alive, but I found a half sister. After bouncing on a bumpy road all day, we were nearing our house where we could make a video call to Mam Amparo. Mam Amparo? Yes, sir. We have been working all the way home in the van. Okay. Now, either you stand up or you sit down, but we got info, but it's not about your mum. Okay. It's not about your mum yet. But it could be about a sister. Wow. Okay. Now, okay. we have found someone that it could be your spitting twin image of you. She looks younger than you. We haven't spoken to her directly. Okay. We haven't spoken to her directly, but we've spoken to cousins. I'll let Leah May speak in English to you because she's the one that's been more talking to people. But it looks like you better get on a boat and come to Cebu because we think that you have a half sister living in Cebu. So they know your ma mother, they know Nida Ruby, and they said she's basically from Cebu. Then she went to Butuan City and rented a small house there in Zamora, Zamora Street. And, okay. and these people that I talked to that giving me this information is the owner of the place that she is rented. Her real name is Jimina Ruby alias Nida Ruby. And they said Miss Amparo might have a sister who is now in Cebu. And when I look at the picture of basically your half sister, is exactly look like you wow and they said it might be younger or older older they don't know and you okay and your half sister they put her also into adoption <gasps> okay wow can we send the picture through now of your who we believe is your half sister and then we're going to call you back Inam inam sa tubig te. Just drink some water sa. Okay, but I would love to see the picture, please. Okay. Yeah, we will send it right away. Incredibly, the half sister was calling at the same time. Hello. Hi. 
Hi. She said she had just finished work and was in shock. There was a moment of silence as Violetta just looked at the video call, looked at us and probably was thinking, is this real or is this a bit of a scam? Hi, ma'am. Violetta? Is that your real name, yes. Violetta? Yes, I'm Violetta, sir. Ma'am, I've been searching for you all day. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know what it's about? Yeah, the, uh, the information here in FB that uh, that woman is looking for her, her half-sister. Her, her, she's looking for her, her by, she's looking for Nida Ruby. Mm -hmm. Do you know Nida Ruby? Yeah. Is she still, is, our, is she still our, alive? Here's our uh, mother. Is she still alive, ma'am? Uh, maybe, yes, because it's very long, long time ago that uh, we've been, uh, meet together. Do you know where but she, I know. Do you, I know her address. Is she from Maybe Cebu? Have... Okay. Is she from Cebu? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Nida I Ruby. Can help her. Oh wow. Yeah. Nida Ruby is from Cebu. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, ma'am, I will just introduce ourselves. My name is Blair, and I'm Leia. And we have a YouTube channel called the Leah and Blair Slog, and we help to reunite long lost loved ones. Do you know you have a half sister? Uh, uh, when I was a teenager, I've heard that uh, in our neighborhood in Mindanao that I've heard that I have a half sister. I think she's older than me, or she's forty nine. Oh yeah, she's older than me, and I'm forty eight. Yeah, you're forty eight. I have a half sister, but I've never, uh, I've never know her name because it's a very long, long way. Long, long ago, very long, long. Wow, ma'am, this is um, this is unbelievable. We're going to reunite you with your half sister. We definitely needed to call Amparo back with the great news that we had found a half sister. And, and uh, I'm looking forward to see you guys tomorrow. And yeah, let's do this. As soon as we woke up on day number five, we travelled to the city to meet Violetta. But as you'll find out, it didn't all go according to plan. How are you feeling right now, uh, knowing that you're like 20 minutes away from meeting your half-sister who you've never met? Well, I'm, I'm overwhelmed, you know, happy. I cannot, I cannot, you know, I cannot control myself, you know, crying, crying, you know. They called it uh, tears of joy. And can I ask? You, you knew that you had a half-sister or, yeah, or I a know sister, that. you knew that you had a sister. Yeah, I know that before when I was uh, 16 year old, when I first came in Butuan City. Who told you? Uh, the neighborhood. Really? The, yeah, the close family uh, neighborhood. The neighborhood gossip? Yeah. <laughs> the chismis? <laughs> yeah, the gossip, you know. Just as we were getting to know Violetta, the car breaks down trying to fix the car. Fingers crossed we're going to get this done. This was the last thing that we needed. This was going to jeopardize everything today. I didn't write this script. Myself and Leah May were up in Malapasqua for four days hearing Mam Amparo's story about trying to find her long lost birth mother. We've managed to find her and we've also got a bonus of finding her half sister who's in our car. We're at Ken Taxi. We've got 30 minutes to go until we're meant to be meeting them. It's 12 o'clock. Where is Ma'am Amparo? Just yes. driving into Cebu City yes. now. Leah May is reporting back to me that the car seems to have been fixed. Driving now into Cebu City, the car's fixed. The crisis is over. 10 minutes until Violetta meets her long lost sister. So we've arrived before Ma'am Amparo. She's on her way. The girls are just putting on some makeup and looking good. I'm nervous. Oh my god, this is it, yes. Hi, Tita. How are you feeling? Uh, actually, uh, for now, I'm overwhelmed and very excited. And then, of course, 
I hope I don't cry, but I don't know what's gonna happen because I don't have any tissue or anything. <laughs> <laughs> but man, this is oh, this is went so fast that I cannot even believe it. Round here. If you're going, see the Dunkin' Donuts ah, over there. Okay. They should oh be around. God. This way, guys. We'll sneak up to them. <laughs> Oh. I've done this a few times. This is the first one in 2024, but yeah, yeah, it's always, it always nerve-wracking. Oh, look at this, guys. It's giving me goosebumps already. But uh, as they, they said, this is going to be my lucky year. And they're just round the corner. Okay. Oh, they, even, they did not even go to Dunkin' Donuts. Ma'am, Violetta. Please turn around and meet your, your long lost sister. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Only five days ago, we had set out to find Amparo's biological mother, and here we were finding a half sister. <laughs> this was a beautiful moment. Unbelievably, we were looking for her mum. But we also found a half-sister she didn't even know she had. Everything was going great now, and Bialetta had told me, don't worry, she was sure she could find her mother's At, uh, house. I'm glad that I have a sister, you know. And so it was time to find Nida Ruby. The tears had gone for Amparo. She was full of energy and hope. We were getting close, and even Leah May was cracking that smile. Across the bridge, we're now in Lapu Lapu. Myself and Leah May and Ma'am Violetta are gonna go down to Ruby's house, Nida Ruby's house. And Leah May has the adoption papers from Ma'am Amparo's adoption, and we're going to confirm that she is Nida Ruby. So stay with us, we're just about to get out the van and go down. For 49 years, there had been no contact, but for the dying wish of Amparo's husband, Dan, was that Amparo go looking for her biological mother. And now, with the help of the Lear and Blair slog, this was the moment that Amparo had been wishing for all her life. As I climbed out of the van, my heart was racing. Violetta told us that she was actually estranged from her mother. This was a situation that I had not accounted for. Leah May encouraged her to push through. We needed to find the location of the house. Now things were going from bad to worse, Violetta couldn't remember. So we started asking local shopkeepers if anyone had heard of this name Ruby. Five days of searching. Leah May was searching every day for the past five days. For up to probably 15, 16 hours a day online. We got some information on the Facebook post. And uh, Man Violet is still trying to remember the, the way to the house. We had been looking for nearly 20 minutes now with no contact to Ma'am Amparo in the van. It was at that moment that Leah May remembered she had forgotten the adoption letter. To be frank, it was probably the pace of the chase. Everyone had little sleep the night before. So, it's been a few years since Violetta has been here, so she's just still trying to remember all the little side streets. We're on our way, we're close. The queer there sitting there, he seems to know somebody, so they pointed us in this direction. I'm getting goosebumps, look, little side alleyway stuff. So they're not on good terms apparently, so man Violetta's just gonna stay back. Oh great, beware of dogs, my favorite. Here we go guys, beware of dogs in the Philippines. Doesn't look like anybody's here. Well, maybe they are. Or the house next door and he's come down. He knows them so 
we're in the right place, but he's just shouting to see if anybody's home. Hi, yo. Thanks, Ria. Yeah. Just forget the ducks in this door. And there she was, as I battled my way through the barking dogs, there was this old lady sitting at the end of the pathway. She was beautiful. It looked to me as if she was suffering from the early signs of Parkinson's. To be honest, I wasn't sure. I'm no doctor, but her hand was shaking. But I could see she was listening intently to what Leah May had to say. <laughs> Ever so gently, she replied back to Leah May that yes, that was her name. Ate Nida is like, how old are you? Uh, now? Uh. This young is about 580. Do you remember that you have a baby that you put into adoption? No, it. it she said to Leah May that there was only one that she had left, and that was with Nida's own mother, meaning Violetta's grandmother. She whispered this into Leah May's ear, as I think she was a little bit embarrassed. But do you have another one, the older one? She was trying to think. You don't remember? She replied, yes, I only have two kids. Yes, now I only have two kids. Leah May took out the adoption letter to show her. Yeah. Yeah. This is one of the adoption. It goes on to say that my name is Nida Ruby and I live in Zamora Street in Butuan City. She was living in poverty and Amparo was born on the 21st of July, 1974. But she was saying it was a boy. It's a boy? This was not Amparo's mother. It's not a girl. She reiterated again it was only one girl. I was extremely confused. She said that she didn't have an, a daughter, girl, daughter. Only Bayolita is her daughter. But there is no other ga, uh, girl. So ang imo ang ga yun is Nida Ruby. Here she was confirming that her name was Nida Ruby and she did used to live in Zamora Street in Butuan City in the Philippines. This was going nowhere, but Leah May remembered we had the video of Amparo that she did on Malapasqua Island trying to find her long lost mother. My name is Amparo Vale. I was adopted years 1974, July 21, and I am looking for my biological mother named Nida Ruby, which she can be found in Limon, Barangay, Butuan City, or somewhere, Samora Street, Butuan City, and this is based on uh, the affidavit of consent that she have signed during my adoption. And uh, I hope uh, anyone can help us locate her and give us some more information so we, I can get some uh, closure to my mom, my biological mom. okay, <laughs> Rafa. Whilst watching the video, something had clicked and she had remembered Amparo. At last, a breakthrough. Now she remembered that, remember, Nana is 80 years old, 
now she remembered that she has another baby girl that she put into adoption. Because I forgot. It's okay, man. It's okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Nine. She don't it's have okay. a father. Ma'am, ma'am, it's okay. She don't have a father. Ma'am, ma'am, she's been looking for you. Yeah. She contacted me because yes. I, I'm helping to find... Me? Yes. Yes. Yes, she is with us now in the van. She's looking for you. <laughs> this had been one of the most emotional reunions that I had ever done. This old woman had buried the memory of the past. She is in the van now with Ate, Bayulita, and your, your another daughter, this one. This one. <laughs> <laughs> Leah May ushered me to go and get Amparo and the others from the van immediately. Guys, this is one of the hardest reunions we've ever done. We're now to the minivan to go get Amparo. Her mum's in tears. She can't believe it. And I'm gonna bring Amparo in to meet her mum. She's asking me how it's gone and I'm, uh, to be honest, I'm lost for words this time. It's very, very emotional because she was saying she didn't have a daughter. I think she was so embarrassed and now she, Leah May showed her the video and she broke down in tears. Ma'am Ruby broke down in tears and uh, Leah May told her her daughter's here to see her. And uh, this is it. She's, she's admitted it and she wants to see her long lost daughter. So we're bringing in Ma'am, I'm Paro now. You're gonna have to mind the dogs, okay? There's lots of dogs. This is it. We're going to reunite Ma'am and Paro with her very old, aged mum. She says she's 80 years old. Sorry about the dogs, guys, but this is the Philippines and this is just the way it is. Guard dogs. Now this incredible moment had come. Accidentally discovering she had been adopted at the age of eight years old, and Paro Vale had always wanted to know about her Filipino birth mother. Who was she? Where was she? Was she even alive? For 49 years, there had been no contact. But because of the dying wish of her husband and that of her past adopted parents, she wanted to go searching for her biological mother, Nida Ruby. <laughs> Ma'am and Paddle. Heartbreakingly, and over the noise of the dogs, did you hear what Nida said to her daughter Amparo? I am sorry, I was really poor, and I am still very poor. And there was more to this see. It's going to be a long process, okay?
uh, I wish I could help you back, you know. There will be no no more uh, questions, no... Uh, nothing to worry? Nothing to worry, you know, whatever God will, I uh, know, have had blessed me because you prayed for me. I can, I can give you, I can share with you, okay? Forty-nine years ago, Amparo Vale was born into absolute poverty in the Philippines. At just 20 days old, her mother, Nida Ruby, made the heartbreaking decision to put Amparo up for adoption. Nearly 50 years had passed and Amparo was desperate to try and find her birth mother. She reached out to the Lear and Blair slog and asked us if we could help her. Incredibly, after just five days, we tracked Nida Ruby down. She was nearly 80 years old and living in extremely poor conditions. Now, a second seemingly impossible miracle has happened. We have found Amparo's 68-year-old father. So... We were just on the phone to your dad. Liam A and me had just spoke to him for about 20 minutes. In this video, we will reunite Amparo with her long lost mother and father at one of the most emotional reunion parties ever witnessed. I search for you, baby. I'm... Hi, sir. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. So today, sir, okay. we are going to bring you to Malapaswa and you're going to um, meet I'm your nervous. long lost. I'm nervous. I'm nervous too. Yes. <laughs> we go? Yeah. Tada. Uh, sir, Tada. Tada. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Leia. Welcome to Cebu. On the six-hour journey to Malapaswa Island, we picked up Mary Ann one of the first people that we reunited with their father last year. She was going to be singing at the reunion party. Hey, Mr. Blair! That's going on YouTube. Excited? Yes. I'm so excited. We took the 30-minute boat ride across to Malapasqua Island. Very soon, we would be reuniting this father with his long-lost daughter. First, we needed to get his story. So I'm Hisosimo Argente. I'm living in Quezon City. Uh, Manila. Can you tell me how did you meet Nida Ruby? Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, when I'm I, I'm from Butuan City. Ah, okay. I'm leaving the Nida. Um, came on that place. How old were you? Uh, at that time, uh, because uh, it's uh, late seventies, maybe I'm eighteen or nine. I I cannot uh, tell uh, the exact, but uh, About 18. it's eighteen or nineteen years old. Yourself and Nida started a relationship. Yes. Did you know that you had a daughter with her? Uh, yes, of course, because uh, we are living together. So when that time that she's pregnant, I think that uh, maybe this is the time that I will make my own uh, job or work to have to earn money. So when Nida gave birth, after she gave birth, the baby Amparo was adopted around two weeks after she was born. Yes, that's that. That's my uh, the information that I'm i uh, received. Okay, because you weren't there at the time. Oh yes, you were away working in another in, city. Another city. Okay, when you came back, you were told that the baby had been adopted. Yes. So when I when we see when I see her, so I ask her, where's the baby? So. She answered me, no, no more baby. Allah. I give it to another uh, family. Were you, were you angry? Were, uh, you, were you sad? Yes, I'm, no, I'm not angry to her, but I'm very sad. I work just for that baby. Right. You went away to work to, to provide work. Yes. for baby That's Amparo. True. And uh, when you came back, the baby uh, had already been given yes. as an adoption. Then uh, I asked uh, people to hear, can you tell me where can I, where can I find that baby? Okay. Uh, at that time, she didn't tell me directly to me. So okay. I go there. Yeah, I find. I found that uh, family. Then at that time, uh, I'm every every weekend I go to see my baby. Then uh, the the family 
the family, the father and the mother that yes. who, who oh, adopted them. Yes. yes. They, they just let me see the baby. Right, okay. But at that time, when uh, maybe it's uh, three months ago, uh, three months later, mm. when I came back, they're gone. They had already moved to a different place. Yes, and that I, I don't know where to go. Okay, so after about three months, that was the last time the that last you saw Ampadon. The last time that I saw the my, uh, my your, baby. Yeah, your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> When she was adopted, did the baby already have a name? Did you know her name? No, I did not know what's her name. Because at that time, uh, even Nida, she didn't told me that this is the name of our baby. We had found Nida Ruby. Yes. And then we didn't think that we would be able to find you because we didn't have a name. Yes. How did you hear that of this story? How did you find out oh, that? Just like this. I opened my cell phone. Mm -hmm. That was published in my yep. YouTube. Ah, no, no, no. Facebook. I, uh, Facebook. Uh -huh. uh, I'm. Uh, uh, I see that I'm uh, Amparo Bell. Uh, I want to see my uh, mother. It's like a one-minute video that we put on oh. our Facebook. But you actually saw that video, did yes, you? Yes, exactly. On that night, nobody nobody sent it to you. You just saw it come up on yes, your Facebook. Yes, uh, it's it's happened that uh, when I wow. scroll it, it oh wow. Yes, I I I see in myself. Oh, I know this. Maybe I know this. The Nida Ruby. Yes. And you remembered from yes. 50 years ago. Yes. After I, all I, of the girlfriends, me and you and some other people in 50 years have had, uh, oh. you remembered Nida Ruby? Yes. <laughs> it, uh, exactly. When I saw it, she's, she's stating that, uh, you know, Nida Ruby. So... You have a good memory, 50 yes, years. I, yes. I. Sabi, uh, when I saw it, I, oh. I know this uh, person. Wow. Uh, so and, you, and at that point, you didn't know the girl talking was your daughter? No, no, no. Was it a shock? Yes. When we told you the reason for why we were yes, trying I to was track shocked. you? Yeah. Really shocked. <laughs> Before you go and meet your daughter, Yes. Do you have a message that you would like to say to her? Ito lang po ang masasabi ko sa kanya. Kung ano man yung nangyari sa mga panaw na yun sa loob ng uh, 49 years, siguro kahit hindi ko man masabi na hindi ko siya nakita, pero sa ngayong panaw na to na, na nakita niya ako at na, nahanap niya ako, uh, sana wala ka naman sigurong masakit na damdamin na iisipin para sa akin kasi wala wala talaga akong ano na pwede kang hanapin na dahil isang ano lang ako nagtatrabaho na sakto lang siguro yung kinikita hindi ko rin maano ma-afford ma para lang mahanap kita sa mga panahon na yun hanggang ngayon pero magpapasalamat pa rin ako sa iyo na ikaw mismo ang gumawa ng ng oras at saka panaw na makita mo rin kami ako ay nagpapasalamat sa iyo dahil sa ginawa at saka pasensya na na uh, siguro dahil gusto mong mangyari to kahit malayo man tong lugar na to uh, kahit wala ako sa trabaho ko para lang sa iyo kasi alam ko naman na itong araw na to dito ka masaya kasi nabuo mo yung pamilya mo nak kasi na po salamat po nak sa ginawa mong panahon para sa amin na mahanap mo kami mahal na mahal kita na po I love you so much Castle in France and it's the same one I built in the same for you When I was two I 
I thought I painted a picture of heaven But it turns out it's just your room Just your room Son, I'm also adopted, and as 22 years of existence, Mom, um, Mama Amparo Vail took me in as she as her own child. So I'm very thankful for that. Despite what she has been through, she is still here to witness these moments with us. She is a warrior in this game, so-called life, and I think that her being herself is way better than any other professions out there. So mom, stay strong and humble as always. And I hope you realize that your so-called justice is, more, is far more incredible in the eyes of others, especially in my love you, mom. Long lost mother, Nina Ruby. I died every day waiting for you, darling. Don't. 
took me 49 years to figure out that you are Hemina. And of course, I wanted to thank Lillian Blair. I owe you my life. Blair and Leia. You are a magic and I've been looking for. Helping Anne Parrell find her long lost mother and father after 49 years. Is this the end?